Tell us about a movie that's out that we might be interested in. Okay, so Your Fat Friend is another joyously insightful, subversive, and I think ultimately uplifting documentary from the great Jeannie Findlay, whose work I love. Her back catalogue includes The Great Hip Hop Hoax, Orion, The Man Who Would Be King, which you remember was about the the guy who became famous for being Elvis after Elvis had died. He was a you know kind of Elvis in person that people okay. thought was Elvis. And uh, Seahorse. So Your Fat Friend... Uh, it's constructed over a period of six years. It charts the rise of Aubrey Gordon, who started as an anonymous blogger who had a blog called Your Fat Friend, You're a Fat Friend. In the blog, she spoke candidly and very engagingly about her life as a size 26 woman. The blog was a hit, got great responses from many of its uh, readers. Also, of course, as with anything on the internet, a fair amount of hostility and trolling because that's what happens on the interweb uh, here is a taste this is an excerpt uh, from the film in which the blog post read out this is this is entitled a request from your fat friend when we talk about about what i need when we talk about bodies have a listen i need you to listen closely i need you to believe me when i tell you what happens i'm a size 26 fat enough that some stores for fat people don't carry my size Fat enough that some doctors will refuse to see me. Fat enough that getting on an airplane makes my blood run cold because they might kick me off without a refund for my ticket and then I will have to explain to my friends, job, family why I can't make it on that trip. When I talk about fat, I'm not talking about feelings or self-esteem or body image issues. I'm talking about the way that individuals and institutions treat people who look like me. Every discussion about bodies is about how to avoid the horrible fate of looking like me. So you hear the narration, but accompanying that is a visual in which it's a kind of, it's, it's her sitting in a swimming costume by a pool. There's a lot of water imagery in the film. And, um, and Jeannie Findlay um, uses it to look at her whilst you hear her voice and the descriptions. And anyway, so... The film has been described about being about fatness, family, the complexities of change and the messy feelings we hold about our bodies. I would add to that that it's also about someone who is witty, engaging, bold, incredibly good company and who goes from being an anonymous blogger to a New York Times best-selling author and hugely popular podcaster. And the, the documentary tracks her journey, her journey from anonymity into the public eye because she gets this book contract and she writes the book. And that means she has to step out into the spotlight, which is something she's she's uh, avoided doing. I think Jeannie Finney is a brilliant documentary. I mean, I've, I've loved all of her documentaries and um, I've interviewed her many times. And she it's easy to see why she makes such good documentaries because she's incredibly empathetic. And she has a brilliant way, way of bringing stories like this to life. I mean, the Seahorse documentary, which is subtitled The Dad Who Gave Birth, which told the story of a trans man's experience of conception and pregnancy and birth in a way that was entirely unexploitative, sympathetic, in my experience, in my opinion, enlightening, and also engaging. Same here. It really helps that the subject in this documentary is so easy to spend time with. I mean, she really is engaging and funny and insightful. And one of the things that we see is we see her and her parents and, uh, you know, very honest discussions about her life and about her relationships with her with her family and about her relationships with the world, which can be you know incredibly hostile. And I laughed, I cried, I came out thinking that the world really could be a better place if we all start to accept each other for what we are and not what we think we should or or have to be. I thought it was great. It's called Your Fat Friend. I, I hope people go and see it because it's really really uplifting. Uh, and that's a cinema release. It is in cinemas. Yes. And will it will it be a streamer? Do you think? Eventually, but it's in cinemas now.